What up, y'all? What's good? It's Shane from She Gets a Podcast. What's good? All right. What's great? All of that. And more. It is Friday. Y'all made it. Okay. Um, hopefully, I am still laying drugged up. All right. Um, all right. So, y'all see the title. Too many people fake immaturity. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Just because your age goes up doesn't mean your maturity is kicking in. Do you control your mood swings? Can you keep long-term commitments? Do people's thoughts of you bother you to the point where you can't focus? Is that something you're dealing with? Why are you faking maturity? All of that. Why are you stalling? Go get you some merch. Go get you some motherfucking hoodies and shit. Go get you some sweatshirts and t-shirts. Uh, she gets it shop. Now back to the motherfucking show. We die. Ah. Sticky no thoughts. Hope y'all enjoy y'all motherfucking Friday. It's your girl Shan with that sticky icky. Some people take the straight path in life. But at Arizona State University, we respect your twists and turns. They make our online students more driven to excel in their professional lives. That's why our personalized suite of services empowers you with innovative resources and staff that sticks with you. Make your next turn with one of our 300-plus programs at ASU, number one in innovation for nine consecutive years. Visit us at asuonline.asu.edu to learn more. I just wanted to say that a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't got no who you etiquette and it's showing, and I want to discuss it. So if I don't know you and you don't know me, but you see me out in these streets or you see me on social media and you see that I'm consistent and you see that I'm out here pushing out content and you might hear a snippet of a show, I don't even know if you listen to a show, right? And you reach out. You reach out and you say, um... Hi, I just wanted to um, see what I can do so I can get on your show. Um, We can either do it this way or that way or what time. Or, hi, I have a uh, client that has a new book coming out and I just wanted to see if we could schedule them on your show. That's not who you etiquette. Who you etiquette is like, hey... Um, I hope you're having a good day. Been listening to a few episodes. Um, love it. Boom. Nothing. Don't ask me for shit the first time we speak, right? Then it's like, um, you let some time pass. I see you seldomly um, in posts or comments, right? And I'm just like, oh, okay, let me check you out. Genuinely, authentically, let me check you out because it seems interesting. I'm getting a piece of your mind through what you um, talk about or what you comment on from what I post, right? And so I'm just like, okay, let me check out this person's page. Okay, they're engaging. That's called engagement, right? Not liking 12 of my most recent pictures. Not um, just spamming my shit up, right? Uh, Not liking everything on every page so I can see you. I see you. Chill out, right? Y'all acting really toddlerish, right? Um, And genuinely... We might have a discussion through different posts, other people's posts, and then that's natural. And then I'd be like, okay, well, who's this? Well, what do you do in regular conversation? And then that's when you say, you know what? You know, if you're open to doing a live, maybe, or if you're open to coming on our platform to talk because you seem very interesting. I like X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to be like, oh, I like that too. I like that you're doing X, Y, and Z. That's natural. But to invite yourself on my platforms and I don't know you and you telling me to give you a time or whatever, that's very like, ah! so are you looking for something to gain from what I, what you see me do? Or is it that you find something that I do interesting and you would like me to come on your platform and you're inviting me? That's a, that's a natural invitation, right? That's who you etiquette. That's who you etiquette. It's not 
completely throwing yourself into someone's schedule book. Jesus, who raised y'all? Okay, and don't get it twisted. I know what I do. I know that I push out hella content and I know not everybody's going to be able to do that for their podcast. Not everybody's going to be able to do that for their company or their business. Not everybody's going to be able to do that while having a job that you pay bills with, while having two kids and you're a single mom and you have a house and you got to do house shit and you got to run errands and you got to cook because you cook your kids real food. And on top of that, you stay consistent and you actually post three times a motherfucking week and you do two shows a week. How sway? Because I want to, because I enjoy it, and because my life is set up to where I can do that. But there's also things in your life that you do that I don't even know how you do them. And that's cool too. And that's why talking to different people that do different things is so cool. But at the same time, don't invite yourself on my shit. You can invite me to your shit, and I will gladly come if I am interested but if you hit me up and I don't know you and ain't no natural engagement and some force shit I'm gonna act like I ain't see nothing I'm gonna act like I ain't see nothing I ain't see nothing I'm blind Stevie Wonder to this shit I'm blind Stevie Wonder to this shit like y'all need some who you etiquette dog next sticky note coming up Sticky no time. All right, so I just love when people are honest about how they love and they don't have to make excuses for it. They don't have to feel like they have to explain it to everybody. This is just what it is. If you don't like it, then that's okay. If you love it, then that's great. They don't, that's not going to shake me none, okay? And I also want to say I enjoyed clickbait, all right? Um, and we just have to do more. When it comes to knowing the people that we've known for years that won't do crazy ass shit like that. And I think that was a major issue in that whole um, series was there was no faith in people that you feel like you knew. um, People that you were married to. Um, It was a lot of dishonesty um, and was a lot of people keeping secrets to save face. And when you do that, shit just be really shitty on both ends for everybody so just be honest next sticky note and people that we love we can't let social media and society control what we know about them again watch clickbait i just need this one right here bothers me so much i need people to stop doing more for people who do less for them you can't Let me love them a bit more so they get that I care about them. No, let me buy them more so they get that I want them to stay. Let me do more than the next person would so they can see me. They going to see you if they want to see you. They going to put you first if they want to put you first. They not going to reach out if they don't want to reach out. Start doing less for people who do less match it don't overcompensate don't overgive don't overstay match that shit if you so used to me reaching out that i'm gonna give you all the time to reach out and i'm not gonna say shit it's not because i feel less it's not because i want to do less it's because i'm matching what we matching energy okay now I just want to tell y'all that prayer works. The Lord knows what I deserve. And that's all that I shall have. Period. Next thing for y'all young people. If y'all don't listen to no Luther Vandross. Y'all don't know that this man was a gift. That's all I listened to yesterday was some Luther Vandross. That man is a gift. Big skinny. All right. Um, And this is just for anybody and everybody and whoever it affects. So why you got that sage for negative energy and why you cracking that window to get the negative energy out when you burn that sage and you got the incense and stuff, the sage is actually for you. 
because you to be the only one carrying negative energy. People be coming around you that's more positive than you. And you be talking about, oh, I got sage. I got to sage my house. I got to sage this. I got to, you know, do this. No, take your ass all the way outside. Don't crack no window. Take your ass all the way outside. Get some vitamin D because you the one that need the sage. Did y'all see that iCloud tried it? (laughs) With them French terms and conditions, I still got that shit being a pop up on my phone talking about um, you must agree to the terms and conditions of the iCloud. I don't need to use my iCloud on my Mac. I can go ahead and email the pictures that's on my Mac to to my phone. I'm I'm straight until y'all get that shit in English and I can read it and I can decipher if I want to agree or disagree. Technically, I don't need all my shit to connect. I'm scraped. Um, I definitely want to say thank you to all the genuine people in this podcast game. Phony people make me itch. Period. I've been getting like a lot of emails from companies who are telling me um, I have a perfect guest to be on your show. Did I ask you to find guests for my show? Did I tell you? That you're allowed to invite people to my shit. Like, it'd be the audacity. Now, it's one thing to come in my email. I said this already, but I'm going to say it again. There's one thing to come in my email and be like, we would like to invite you to our platform or whatever for a show or just for like 15 minutes just to talk. That's different. But you're not about to tell me you about to take dibs on my platform with somebody I don't know and somebody I did not reach out with. That's tacky. So update, Red Circle will soon be a paid podcast platform. They're going to have different tiers and there will be new changes. I don't know all the new changes that are coming up, but that is the distributor that I use for um, this podcast and a few other podcasts. Um, So be on the lookout for that. Updates coming soon. Possible October government shutdown is on the way. They're trying to say that they're going to run out of money. How? When y'all been in debt and y'all been printing money? Confused. Who cares about bailing us out? You know what I'm saying? Let me speak to your manager. Like, who is the manager over the people printing money? When do y'all get to a point where where you were like, you know what, we've been in debt for years. And I think today is a perfect day for us to start printing money and just save you right now. Who? Let me speak to your manager. Let's talk about some mature people versus the one that's faking. Faking, faking. Ooh, who got a shipment from DHL? Ooh, what you got the up the upper? I have never seen these um these uh neighbors over here with this Ben's truck, right? And so I was trying to be nosy earlier and they pulled up in their driveway and they did not get out their truck for like 15 minutes. That's how you know people really don't like their situation when they be sitting in their cars for a long time before they get in. (laughs) Chantal, mind your business. Okay, let's focus. All right. So I wanted to talk about people who be faking maturity, like mature people move at their own pace. Can't nobody come in and be like, you need to hurry up or you're not doing it fast enough. They would walk the fuck out of a job if somebody's getting on their nerves with the quickness because they know their worth. They don't need somebody to establish that shit. They don't need somebody to weigh out their good options and their negative options. Mature people don't allow people to change their energy. Meaning if that bitch over there is in a bad mood, he over here is a ba- in a bad mood. Somebody called their phone that's in a bad mood. It ain't nothing to block somebody. It ain't nothing to uh, put their phone on airplane mode. They know what they need to do. They know where they need to be at. So when you are in control of your energy and you don't let other people control that, that's how you know you're mature. Mature people can give compliments to anybody. And it could be just that, a compliment. 
It's not something more. I'm not fishing. I'm not trying to have a conversation. I don't want to get in your draws. I'm just giving you a compliment. Immature people can't do that because they always feel like you're saying something because you want something or it comes with something. Mature people can honestly apologize and it's legit an apology. Immature people can't do that. They find every reason not to apologize. They would rather have years of a feud that they don't even know why they mad just to be mad. Okay? That's just how it works. Also, they can say thank you without being told why you ain't say thank you. Why, why do I have to say thank you? Like, mature people don't have time for that. They're going to say thank you even though they don't like something. Okay? Mature people always think before they act. They think before they speak. And they think before they buy shit. So, you usually see older people, wiser people, walk into, let's say, a Louis Vuitton or a Fendi store, and they don't need to check price tags or nothing. They know what they want. They could point it out. The people could go in the back, ring them up, and they can walk out the store. There's no deliberation on price of anything because they already researched it. They already know the worth of what they're getting. They walk into uh, dealerships with confidence. Okay? That's maturity. That's being able. That's being prepared. Okay, mature folk research what they want so they don't have to buy shit that's dumb. Mature people only got time for people who are on their level of maturity. If you ignorant, if you loud, if you wrong, if you need uh, training, if you need too much talking to, they're not really dealing with you unless you are a child of theirs. Now. Some mature men look for younger women who become their trophy wives, right? Or their their trophy women because I want a certain type of status. I want people to look at me and I want them to see that I have this type of woman. Not necessarily because she's worth it, but because they would go ahead and handle the irritation that comes with them over getting somebody that's on their maturity level, which is crazy to me. But okay, if you have the patience, like make it make sense. And the reality is nobody has to fake being mature if you're not mature. Like I know that I don't have enough patience to deal with people that I don't have to deal with. I know that I'm not about to be no manager and no job and babysit grown adults because I don't. I don't have the toleration for it and you can't pay me enough to do that shit. That shit is stressful. Not stressful, stressful. I'm not doing it. My kids is at home, okay? And I know that if I know I'm not there yet, mature-wise, I'm going to tell you I'm not there yet. So don't talk to me a certain type of way. Don't come in my face a certain type of way. And don't give me no... um, No... uh. You either do this or you do that because I'm going to throw deuces on your ass. Not because I'm rich, not because I feel like I'm better than, but because you just not about to talk to me any type of way and think I'm about to stay here. The fuck? So stop fake immaturity. If you immature, say that. If you're not ready, say that. We ain't got to do this. You ain't got to do that. That's all. Y'all enjoy y'all weekend. Stay great. I'm out.